Hello everyone, welcome back to Life is Strange 2. Now before you click off the video or do anything, yes I am fully aware that my audio quality is shit right now. Um, in fact, if I turn on other sounds, hold on. Yep. Nope. I, okay, so disclaimer. Audio quality is gonna be shit throughout all of this for my headset. The game audio should be fine, so I'm not gonna commentate that much to save you all the trouble and your ears. Um, but yes, again, I would like to apologize in advance about the mic quality. Alright, with that being said, uh, last we left off, oh jeez, we left off a few months ago. The new episode just came out today, so I was really excited to do this. This is gonna be a full episode, by the way. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna keep going, I'm not gonna stop. Um, what happened? Oh, okay, so we were, we were on a weed farm. Uh, we were with hippies, um, someone pulled a gun on us, our brother used his power, and I think we got knocked out, and there was like a piece of glass in our eye. And we don't know who's dead or who's alive yet. And our brother was missing. And I believe this episode is going to be about finding him. We also still haven't seen our mother, like, we, like, she got mentioned back, like, in the second episode that she was still around, and we never saw her. Alright, um, I'm just, like I said, not gonna commentate that much, and then here I go, so, let me just continue. Let me just check my recording and make sure that it's still... Okay, it is. <laughs> oh, I suppose it's gonna recap it for me anyway, isn't it? Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. And they had to go on the run. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick and they had to move on. The brothers made it to the home of their ancestors and the old wolves took care of them. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. Yeah, then I got Captain Spirit fucking hit by a cop they car. They soon entered the old forest of the giants, where they met a pack of stray dogs who worked in a secret farm. The brothers joined secret. them and worked hard to stock up on gold. For the future. Gold? Oh yeah, they were getting paid. They were happy I guess. to find others like them, and everybody loved the little wolf. Oh, that's who was neat. growing up fast. They're all like dogs. His power was growing too. The little wolf was more and more confident and independent. Yeah, became a little shit. The big brother hooked up with a cool she dog. Oh. <laughs> they had their own adventures. Oof. But I probably should have been looking at my brother instead of that. The mean farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The little cub was injured. He transformed into a super wolf. And destroyed everything. The big brother was badly wounded. And worse. He didn't know where the little cub was. Alright. I hope we find him in this episode, because this is going to be a really, really disappointing episode if, like, we don't see him or get any information. You know what? Maybe, maybe if we find the mom this episode, we can, like, discover more about his powers. Like, maybe she had powers. 
I had this theory that she might have been Max from Life is Strange 1, but the way of how old Max is, I don't think that would be possible. Not to mention that the canon ending is that she ended up with... Chloe? I want to stop talking now. Oh, this is the scene where we were, like, staring out at the thing. Hey, Sean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea. Daniel. No way. It's all good. It's all good, bro. Wish I listened when you tried to stop me from going with Finn. I was too pissed. Wait, that it's didn't okay, happen. It's okay, dude. You're my brother, and that's all that counts. Wait, this shouldn't happen yet. So, why don't you come and get me? Oh, shit. I'm alone, Sean. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Don't get so close to that edge. Please. This is really Come metaphorical. Me. Yes. I, I swear. <sighs> Stop. Fuck all right, dude. Fuck. Daniel. I keep having these nightmares since I came out of the coma. Uh, hmm. I'm supposed to call the nurse when I'm done eating. Uh, guess I'm done. Alright, uh, it looks like he ate some of it. He didn't eat his applesauce, I want to say? Yeah. Thanks for the card, Agent. Can't wait to text you. U.S. Department of Justice Federal Bureau Investigation. Maria Elena Flores. I know someone with all three of those names, except in a different order. Special Agent, Seattle Division. Ooh, I was from there. <laughs> no, you can't do that. Call any time, dear, and if you want to talk. S A F. Not a real phone number, don't call it. Fun fact, did you know that the way to tell if a phone number is real or not? Uh, every time... Oh, fuck, what's the words? I'll, I'll figure out how to English eventually. Um, they obviously can't put real phone numbers in a game or else people will try to call it. Or in TV show, so they'll always add 555. Because 555 is not a real number anywhere. So they'll always put 555 in it. Anyway, just one thing if you guys didn't know that. Can't catch shit. <sighs> Zero depth perception. Ah, oh, shit. Goodbye, I... sports. I didn't even think about that. Like, depth perception. You don't have it, do you? <laughs> um, letters. Clad Stevens' leg is better. Must be tough on Claire. Okay, so this is our grandparents. We are grateful to find out that you are safe and awake. The police contacted us when you were found unconscious in Humboldt County. We weren't allowed to visit you in the hospital. We want you to recover ASAP. The doctors say that you woke up from that coma stronger than before. The most important thing now is to find Daniel. We are helping the police any way we can. They really want to help find him too, Sean. Hopefully this reflects well during your trial. Shit. <laughs> We know this must be hard for you after everything you and your brother have been through. You're both in our thoughts and prayers every day and night. Remember, you are family and we love you. We hope to visit you and Jolene Shores as soon as we can. Take care. P.S. Chris insisted to write a little note. It's attached to this letter. He doesn't know Daniel is missing. 
Ooh, well, at least he's so okay. So glad Chris is okay. That kid is a real superhero on his own. Oh, okay, thank God. At least I get that answer. Hi, Sean and Daniel. I hope you are okay. I am fine, but I miss both of you a lot. After my accident, I had to wear a stupid cast forever. I was trapped in my room all winter. Sucks. But summer is here and I can play again. All the snow is gone. You should come back to see Beaver Creek without the snow. I'll be waiting for you, Chris and Captain Spirit. P.S. We need to save Beaver Creek from swamp bugs. So wait, does he... Does he not pick it up that he doesn't have powers, or...? Oh. Huh. Cassidy. I miss Add Cass so much. <laughs> I wish I could gold. hold her. Very surprised to hear from me. I found out we were in the same hospital from the police after we were questioned when I was checked out a month ago. Oof. So I took a chance to write, and hope you get this. Wish I could say everything. I want... I wish I could say everything I want, but you never know who's reading, right? If anybody else is reading this, fuck you. <laughs> I truly hope you're okay after what happened. As for me, I don't remember much except the explosion at Morel's office. Then I woke up in the hospital with blunt trauma, healing, and what the doctors called last long injury, hurting. <clears throat> Just glad that I can still play guitar and sing. Not that I feel like it. You learn a shitload about medicine stuck in a hospital bed. As I'm sure you know, my sweet... Compadre, still working on that F, then you all miss my lessons and my teacher. Oh, I miss Cassidy now. You probably know more about what's going on than me, but Hannah and Penny and I were released without charges. The police were stoked to bust a farm of drug traffickers rather than us gutter punks. Totally, I don't, I'm not gonna even try. In the field, we asked about you and Daniel, but got no answers. Surprise! So with Finn and you gone, our real family is kind of broken up. Now we're just a lonely trio train hopping up and down the state. But it feels like we're going, you know, a oh god, I sound like a fucking kindergarten reading. I am so sorry. I can't imagine what the audio quality is like. Um, Hannah and Penny aren't the same, and we might fight too much. I'm not even sure we'll be together for much longer. Shit changes, right? Maybe I'll have a whole new set of blue songs for the road. I know you're going to be to trial. Fuck, everyone knows I'm going to trial soon over the Seattle situation, and you get the justice and freedom you deserve. You went down. Oh, I just woke up. Forgive me. You and Daniel are amazing brothers, and I hope you find a way home soon. I hope you can swim naked again under a new moonlight. Okay, wait, let me get this straight. You said at the very beginning of this that you didn't know who was reading in this, but you felt the need to bring that up. I mean, I guess that could be seen as a metaphor. It's a big world, and maybe we'll meet again someday. I'll always be singing your song. Love and peace, Cassie. God, I miss her. Oh, we still got a little tattoo. Yay. Stupid reality shows. <laughs> This must be my punishment. Hospital food isn't bad. They're really good. Ugh, can't even focus on the page. This sucks ass, man. No, he can't draw because of his depth perception? Was in a coma for weeks, blind and fucked. Plus in police custody, going to jail soon. Hospital freaks me out. I hate this. Where's Daniel? I'm scared. Writing down his thoughts. Tried to draw to, to kill time. This room's like a cage, but I suck now. No depth perception, no art, no shit. Focusing was an immediate migraine. Going crazy in here, woke up crying. Special secret agent, she's trying to bond with me. Trap me or trust me, so fucked. Cop still can't find Daniel after the explosion, so he's out there alone. Happy birthday, Daniel, wherever you are, Nano. Oh. Clara Stephanie sent me a nice letter, so lonely. I read it twice. Weird how I miss him now. So cool to hear from Captain Spirit, too. Glad he's doing fine. Mr. Joey's guest doesn't look bad. So glad he's around. Wish I could hear Cass play again. All those songs are gone, but not our time together. I already did that. Okay. <laughs> I fucked Daniel up. I let Finn become his brother. Shit, wait, did Finn steal him? Because they said Finn was gone too. 
I'm not even going to try to draw, because I'm worried it's going to... Eh, well, I might as well for the story, I guess. It says it gives him a migraine, though. Okay, observe. Observe what you can. Oh, that's weird. There's like, okay, I'm not sure if you guys can kind of tell, but like, the left side of my screen is like all blacked out because of his eye. I'm alright, alright, not too bad, not too bad. So hard to focus. Don't give up. Gotta practice way more. Not giving up. Yeah, don't give up. I guess that's an okay start. It is. But I can keep going. Go for it. Yeah, practice more. Yeah, look, it's looking a lot better. Draw a staircase. Oop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> God, I look retarded. <laughs> staircase gives hope. Draw a staircase. If you can't draw what's there, draw something that isn't. Wish I could find a highway to freedom. I mean, it looks a lot better than Zelda drawings. Um, alright, I guess nothing left to do but call the person. Alright. I'll wait. I already did everything I wanted. Joey must hate the sound of this thing. Alright, so I guess our nurse slash doctor's name is Joey. I mean, it's a nurse call button, so I'm gonna guess oh, there he is. Afternoon checkup. Sure. This... <laughs> Good day, sunshine. Hey, Joey. Hey, man. This is that nice. looks like it might have been food. Hard to tell. Ha ha. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Hmm. I don't blame you. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate? Uh-oh. There's that <sighs> smile. Thanks, Joey. <laughs> so how you feeling today? Any headaches? Socket pain? <sighs> no. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before, you know, before they check you out. Check me out to Julie. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see. You know the drill. Don't blink and just stare at the light. Yes. Nice retina response. Okay. Now. Try to follow the light as well as you can. All right, Dr. Reno. Good, good. Keep going. Quick response. Nice. I'm so Sean, quick. You got this. Remember, to see objects on your left side, you got to turn your head more now. Yes. Looking good, Sean. Now try to align your pen with mine. I'll try. No rush. This is tough. Okay, you said I have to turn my head more. So, alright. Uh, press the to lock view Sean's arm. Okay. Your depth perception will always be affected. So you gotta try harder. <sighs> Shit. Yeah, I know. It's hard. Wait. <sighs> Come on. What am I... Wait, hold on. Wait, how do I... It's not... I, just so everyone knows, I can't actually move. Yeah, that's enough. They, yeah, it wouldn't let Too me move. Too much stress on you and your eye. But remember, 
your depth perception will always be affected. Hmm. Here, read this. Patient cleared. Patient cleared. Send him right to jail. <laughs> Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. I always hated that game. <laughs> you can try, but you can't rig the exam, Sean. <sighs> this time we release you. Sorry. Your vision has improved a lot. Now you don't really have severe side effects anymore. Yeah. That's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first, let's clean this dressing. Hey, sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. <sighs> They're guarding the door? It? All I do is watch them. Yes, true. Your job. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could run away. Do you mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just come back when I'm finished with him. Sure. I'll swing by later, Sean. Stay cool. Hello, Miss Agent. So, how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Why Did you find shit? Daniel? I want to... Go over this again. What? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So, silence isn't gonna help you now. Listen close, Sean. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. You might spend the rest of your life in prison or you can talk to me. Um, innocent until proven I'm guilty. I'm innocent until proven guilty, right? And I believe that. That's why I want you to tell me the whole truth. It's just, I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way. And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? You kidding? Are you shitting me? That officer freaked out and shot him. In front of me and Daniel. Just guilty of being... Who knows? I hear you, but... You sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Jesus, no. Look at me. Okay, let's just jump ahead. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. I've told you so many times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus three seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. Nobody's statement matches with each other. Sean, throw me a bone here. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? Her voice we sounds familiar. You can help by telling me the truth. <sighs> okay. Fuck. The robbery. Whose idea was it? His? Or yours? Huh? It was his. Finn. It was his idea to rip off Marrow. Did he force you to help? Or did you go along with it? Nope. He lied. I did not go he along lied. with that. I didn't want to help. But he got Daniel involved. I swear. Swear. I didn't think anything like this was going to happen. Nobody does, Sean. Until it's too late. Yeah. Now I know. And what about Cassidy? She planned all this with Finn? No. She was against it. She was against this stupid plan. She had nothing to do with it. Your friends. Are learning the hard way. Didn't want this. 
didn't want this. I didn't want any of this shit. Now I gotta live with it. You're not alone, Sean. There are people that want to help. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while, but you do have a support group. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. Good. What about yeah. Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Mm -hmm. uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. You couldn't track down the mom, but the note wasn't helpful at all? Interesting. Sorry, Finn. I'm not. That's if just you... karma for dragging Daniel into this shit. Yeah, that's, that's the way I see it. And if you took Daniel, you definitely deserve to go to jail. <sighs> she didn't want anything to do with this. Lucy Rose Jones. Bitch fucking lied about her name. I'm sorry, okay? Nah, I don't care. I wonder what Meryl told the cops about the robbery. Yeah, I'd be I'd be concerned about that too. Like, what did what did he think happened? Sorry, Hannah. She lost her family for this. Shit. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. You mean more than he already was? No. Or dude. Welcome to Life is Strange 2, such a fun and interactable game. It's literally only that. Sorry about that. Sorry that your voice actor okay. had a glitch. <laughs> so what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. So we are on the case. For how long? For how long? It's been over two months. How uh, are you gonna find him? We have a lot of people looking shit. for your brother. Trust me. We want to find him too. Yeah, yeah. So you can lock him up too, right? Whatever. Anyway. Thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. Look out! I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. Sit down so we can get this show going. Are you gonna clean so, my eye? How did your interview with Scully go? Interrogation. You mean interrogation? Who knows? Maybe Detective Flores wants to help. Maybe not. I just can't trust her. After what you and your brother went through, I don't blame you. Oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. Thank you. Thanks, Joey. Want to tell that to the judges? I'm just saying, you don't deserve this. Now let's check this out. Ooh, please don't show it. Please don't show it. I don't know. The healing is coming along nice. Okay, it doesn't look that Just bad. Just gotta keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I want to hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I can tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, huh? Jail for life. So positive. I hear you. I'm trying to be positive. But it's so hard. I know. I do. But I promise there's a treat coming your way. 
Now, as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Sterile gauze, saline solution. Cope the area using a that. swab and cream. Did you just put that on my eye? Then wrap it up with clean dressing. And you're the shit. Remember, you gotta do this. Four times a day. I won't forget. Four times I'm sorry a about day. everything, Sean. Wish I could have done more. Dude, you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a ch Oh shit. <sighs> Emergency. I'm out. And no smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean. Check out that towel. Got your name all over it. <sighs> Catch you later. Did you leave me some weed? <sighs> Joey. You are her boss. Why do you leave me weed? Oh, what? he doesn't want me to smoke. I highly doubt it. Wow. My journal. I haven't seen you in a long time. Well, take it with you. Oh, yeah, what about my backpack? <sighs> my book a pack. I know I fucked Daniel over. Again. And now he's gone. Where would he hide out? A ten-year-old by himself? Out there? He might go back to Seattle. But too far. Nowhere to go. If he tried to hook up with Claire and Steven, they would have definitely told me. Or the cops. Wait. What's that? Ooh? Had a few beers, Daniel's asleep, same night every night, he wants to train more, but we don't have time, plus we gotta hide, it's not easy. Sean, I borrowed a blanket and a few other things from your tent, we'll give them back to you when we come looking for your Super Wolf comic, it's waiting for you, Jake. What? Okay, February 23rd, 2017, and I have no fucking idea what day it is today, had a few beers, Daniel's asleep. Sean, I borrowed a blank. Who's Jake? I forget who Jake is. Agent 420, give me hot dollar. Cassidy the Wild versus Hannah the Wise. Two stone. Two story house shit. Oh. There they all are. Everyone shared the worst dark shit tonight. Then can't do. A fucking woo. I'm a sh Werewolf. Fuck, fuck. Daniel messed up again. Uh, I gotta fix this shit so fucking tired of running away. I, I don't get it. I can't go back either. Haven Point. What? Nevada. 
Met the new workers from Europe, Anders and Orangrid. Cute couple. Makes me want to travel. I had a long talk with Jacob. He's a little kid. He... Flying here. Free? Interesting. I gotta get to him. Wait, how did he know he was there? I gotta find a way to escape. I must have missed something. Tonight. Okay, so we're escaping now. That's a thing. Oh shit, it was that. You can see what happened to the guard. <laughs> or is this a transition thing? Okay, I clearly see like a fire escape, so maybe I go out like a window. A sacred hope hospital. Okay. Time to clear off now. This whole hospital is so quiet. So don't make any noise. And find a way to get the hell out of here. I should close these. Okay, that makes so sense. So nobody sees me sleepwalking away. Wish I could just... Walk out. My backpack has got to be somewhere around here. They've been working on these rooms forever. Okay. So fucking loud. Let's see. I just gotta get past that locked door. And an angry guard. Alright, sounds like the easiest boss level ever. How's my bathroom looking? This one isn't screwed in. Oh, what? I could pull it. Let's do it. Oh shit, we're actually doing this. Okay, come on. Super strength time. Hey. I mean. What the hell are you doing in there? So there is a guard out there, got it. <sighs> nice job, Sean. Now the guard is awake and pissed off. All right, well, that's not a problem because I can close Can I have these. some privacy, please? All right, um... Look under? What's going to be under the bed? Nada. I didn't think so. Joey's pen. Joey's the only one who helped me get through this shit. Joey could probably distract the guard dog. He could. But couldn't I just leave? <sighs> Need a superhero to open that shit. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Well, looks like this is my only option. Call in the Joester. It says I could open my backpack. I'm like, I don't, I don't have my backpack. What do you mean? How am I opening this? Dude, oh fucking gay. Okay, so what did I miss here? Hold on. Met with new workers from Europe. Or Ingrid. I had a long talk with Jacob. He's like a little kid. Okay, who's Jacob? Jake. Okay, no, Jacob was the guy that was really religious. I remember that. Looks fine here. Free? I don't get it. Why would he think that he went there? Why would he go with Jacob? I don't get it. I, I honestly don't get it. I'm gonna pick it up. I got a souvenir? This counts as a souvenir, okay. I press call. Oh, hello. Perhaps I should have checked that first before calling the nurse. I always wondered about doing that in like school. This isn't a movie. But like, nah. Can't even fit. The moment you get up there, the other one would just fall. The one you like try to land on. Come on! Come on! I can't like push the curtain. Wow, my feet look weird. And I like see him coming. Oh, 
Okay, so there's Maybe that. I can trick him. Say I need an aspirin or something. All right, nothing else. I press the button, right? Do I have to do it again? No. Yeah. Thanks for the card, Agent. Nope, already checked that. Okay, there we go. Business in there. Patient called. Just gotta see what our boy needs. Good. I need a smoke break. Hey, that's your job. Go for it. All right. Hey, there's my second favorite patient. <laughs> Who's the first? Gotcha. You never stop working, Joey. I'm doing a double night shift. Diane is out with a flu, so lucky me. Yeah, I'm fried. But that sweet, sweet overtime. Sean, you look stressed. You feeling okay? I know where Daniel yeah, is. Yeah, I know where my brother is. What? How? I found a note in the sketchbook you brought me. He's in Nevada. With, um, a friend of ours. Fuck, Sean. That's awesome. Where did, how did Jacob news. take him? Nevada sucks, but at least the kid is safe. Listen, Joey. I need to get out of here. What? Come on, Sean. You know I can't let you do that. You know I'm on your side, man. I don't blame you for being scared. You're leaving tomorrow. But don't fuck around with this. You hear me? I'm innocent. But I'm innocent. You know I am. You even told me. I said you're a good kid. But it doesn't matter what I think about you. I'm not the police. You really want me to help you break out of here. So what happens to me? I lose my job. Go to jail. I have a girlfriend, a rent to pay, a future. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry, Joey. I was... I was being selfish. I just... I want to help my brother. It's all I can think about. He's ten years old. And out there, all alone. He needs... His big brother. I mean, Sean. I wouldn't get far. It's I like wish I could help you. Hospital robe. I swear, but I can't do this. Joey, please. Look, it's not fair to ask me to give up my job and my life. To maybe possibly help you escape? I know. I'm just desperate. Let's forget about this, okay? I'll do anything else I can to help. Now, I really got to get back to my shift. I'm tired already. No, nope. No, no, no. Give up. I, that is not a thing I'm going to do. I am not going to attack him. You have a good night, Doc. There, there's going to be another way, oh, obviously. I fucking hate hospitals. Hope my last view of this world isn't this window. One stupid car. And I'm out of here. Like, are you blind? Or, ooh. I could slip into one of those rooms under construction. How, how are you viewing this? There, there's no way you saw that. I'm sorry, no. Okay, hold on. That's a crack the window. You did not view that. And do I not have a choice? I'm going to have to break it, aren't I? All right. The windows are secured. But who knows? I'm going to close this first. And then I'm going to do the deed. Making sure that there's no other options. Making sure everything else is checked. I still don't know why I'm looking at the bed sheet. Maybe I could uh, rig a decoy Sean in the bed. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I think. Or, you know, you could use it to actually help you crawl down. But I'm going to do what the game tells me to do. That looks 
so fake. But it might work for a second. Okay, well, I'm sure the other option was to either attack him or break this window, so... Break safety, I mean. I'm doing the tappies. Well, that was easy. I mean, I thought, I guess a hospital window would be harder to break. For some unknown reason. Maybe it's like the looker or something. Uh, Alright, do I need any, should I take the card? No, I don't need anything else. Alright, go on. This is Gracie, dude. Don't freak out. Just get out. It's okay if you fall down, you're just going to end up in the hospital again. What the fuck is that in the sky? I'm not the only one that saw that, right? Keep going. Why would I go back? There's nothing else in there for me. I'm going to look so cool to the other officers. They're just going to be like, Shit, he broke the safe. Don't he escaped. Think. Yeah, these probably just should look down. Like, I would look to going. the side. Okay, I'll look straight down, sure. On the Holy right side. Shit. Oh. Take a breath, dude. Okay, um, if I tap it, he just does that. I'm just gonna, like, gently tap him along. Come on. There we go. Damn. Way too close. Yeah, you telling me. You tell me they didn't let you have shoes or anything? Like, you know, like loafers? <sighs> Time to get my shit from the staff room. But isn't that the door that the guard's right out of? Oh, okay, it's a cutscene. Great. I don't have to do anything. Okay, the guard is sleeping. This is your big chance, dude. Alright, if it looks like it's gonna make a lot of noise... And I don't know why the fuck you would close the door like that. Okay, like, hold the door so it doesn't slam. Ooh, yay, back in my clothes. I'm gonna look so cool on the security cameras. They're gonna be like, well, shit, he fucking outplayed us. Aw, oh, that guy's gonna lose his job. So yeah, do that to the door. Why don't you do that to the fucking safety door? Finn. Finn? No way. What is he doing here? Wake up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, no, Finn. no. Finn. Hey, over here. Holy fucking shit. No way. Sean, what the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to bail. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I wish I knew you were here. Could have hooked up. Shit. <laughs> so, where's Daniel? Can't tell. I can't not tell. tell you, Finn, but I'm going to get him back. Good. Don't blame you for not trusting me anymore. Oh, well, goddammit. You're in here. How are you? So, stupid question, but how are you doing? Well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Kinda sucks. No coconut drinks here. So. Oh yeah, that's where you wanted to go. Your eye. Let's say. I still got one left. John. I know this doesn't mean shit to you now, but I am sorry. 
God damn it. I'm an asshole. Everything. Well, I don't blame you anymore. I don't blame you, Finn. You tried something. Even if it ended up being a mistake. I'll just... have to make things right for good now. You're the man, Sean. I'm really going to miss you. Much love and respect. Always. I got to go now. Take care, Finn. You're going to find him, Sean. I trust you. So you should trust yourself, too. God damn it, I'm an asshole. I thought he stole my brother, okay? Johnny Boy knows how to hotwire, right? That's weird, I've actually never seen anyone drive, I think. In Life is Strange 2. I remember, like, Chloe drove. That's an interesting car door handle. I don't, I don't think I've seen a handle like that. At least I didn't have to break a window. Psych, bitches, I'm outie! We almost hit that chain link fence. <laughs> okay, let's get going. God, I'm sorry about all the yawns. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute myself here so we can enjoy this scene. Wait, shit, no, I unmuted myself because I don't want him falling asleep. Wait. <laughs> At least I didn't attack Joey. Like, I'm glad that that wasn't a forced option. But that way seemed a lot better, like, I gotta talk to Finn, he didn't sell me out, I hope he doesn't sell me out, he doesn't, I don't think he'll sell me out. But Jesus Christ, why was that even an option? I'm, that would've been a terrible, ugh, terrible option. Cause like, the guard definitely would've fucking hurt, right? We're coming for you, Danny boy. Oh, how the pipes call. We're definitely entering Nevada.
mean, I think I'm gonna need gas eventually. So wait, what was the point of putting a fake Daniel in the bed? Like, they're definitely gonna come in and, like, remove the sheets. Was it just, like, to buy us a little bit of time? That's a bit confusing, I don't know. Well, there's no one to talk to, how the fuck am I gonna commentate? What is going on with the sky, though? not thinking there's gonna be much dialogue options. Burn it all down. Guess this is my room for the night. Yep, that would look like it, Johnny boy. Fuck. My eyes itchy. Oh, did you I change it up? probably clean it before I doze off. Because you're supposed to do it four times a day. <sighs> what a mess. Flotus can now add Grand Theft Auto to my file. Yeah, I mean... Shit. It will never hold until Haven Point. Guess I'm kind of lucky I stole a smoker's car. Yeah. I like how in the beginning I just I was just like I'm not gonna choose to smoke, but I'm like after everything he's been through, I would totally let him light one up right now. That was my very first option, actually. Do you want to smoke a cigarette? And I'm just like, he needs to smoke a cigarette. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's clean the eye. I hope you remembered how to do it because I completely forgot. All right, careful. Just doing my eyes in the middle of the desert. Ah, man. You look like a chick trying to do. To Joey. This is a mess. Wait, did you put the thing back on? Oh god, I just remembered that my eyesight thing does that, so now like, the left side of my screen is all black. Okay. All right. Haven Point is straight ahead. Just a few more hours drive. Where did you go? I'm assuming you went to go this way, or did you take this road? No, you took the yellow road. Oh, I'm dumb. Okay, so where are you right now? Okay, this is you right here, because that's scribbled. You can cut through the desert. Actually, wait, no, 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 you don't have to go that way. You just, like, go on this road right here. That looks way faster. Hey, eh? Am I dumb? Hmm. She seems nice. Sorry I stole your car, guys. Shit. Guess I fucked up her day pretty bad. Oh, no. Drop off kids, hospital checkup, lunch with hubby, Miss got X-ray blood test, pick up kids, night shift. Oof. Oh, come on. Did she interview everyone in that hospital? Or what? Everyone had a card. Um... I don't even know how long I should keep on using this for. Uh, just use it until your eye's better, I guess. What do I do? Um... Shit. Uh, I already checked that. We'll never hold until Haven Point. I already checked everything, game. What do you... what else am I supposed to do? Oh, wait. Yeah, okay, I might as well take the card. Mmm, yay, another souvenir. Uh, backpack, what do we got? Neat. 
We know they're there at Haven's Point. Was it something to do with this? Wait, okay, okay, no, 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 so, okay, that was, so Jake also goes by Jacob, and that's how he found out, okay, that's where I was mixing things up, got it. So he's still with the gang, and they went to Haven's Point, which means I get to see fucking, what's her name, Cassidy, the girl I'm in love with, uh, obviously, totally, oh, okay, there we go. When this is all over, this is gonna be like one crazy story on the fucking news. Like, it turns out that brother has superpowers, and then he escaped from the hospital, and then he gets... It's gonna be like one of those, um... One of those stories of how I almost got away with it, except I'm actually gonna get away with it. Ever seen that show? I almost got away with it? And those stories are fucking crazy. I don't think this is real, I think this might be a dream. Out of this century? Yep, this is a dream because Still I have with my me, eyes. Sean. <laughs> Yeah. Just... Zoning out. Oh, shit. Just don't do that when you're driving, my son. So, uh... What's the verdict on the new car? I know it's not a new board, but it's got four hot wheels. Thanks for finishing it, Dad. A perfect reward for your excellent report card. <laughs> um, I'm proud, Sean. The dream of him in the car. You don't even made. bullshit me when you need cash. Yeah, that's I'll true. I'll try to be cool. No dad jokes, huh? I didn't lie to him about the about I hope the you're weed not too bummed out to go on a big road trip with your lovely papito, huh? <laughs> You're the cool. <laughs> oh, please. You're the coolest dad. How could I be bummed? Excuse me. <laughs> Where's my regular, emotionless son? <laughs> I appreciate it. Think we can hang out for five days without killing each other? Hell yeah. Haven't done that since I was a kid. Miss it. So do I. Been too long since we went padre hijo against the road. Way too long. I love road trips. Good to hear. <laughs> By the way, boy talk. What's going on with that Jen, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Man, a Jen is like so old news. Like she was the beginning of the story. We never even met her. Not much uh, Well... Not much to talk about. That was like pulling teeth. Well, I've got a week to find out the truth. Try out new stuff. Don't worry. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Not much to say. Okay, okay. Keep your secrets to yourself. I won't pry. Ah... Could that be Daniel? Hola. Hello. Everything okay, Lila? Oh, Daniel better not be giving you any sass. So Lila's babysitting him. Yeah. He's an angel. We went to the swing pool, and now we're making popcorn for movie <laughs> night. Yes! It's so cool. Hey, Aww. Sean. Don't crash the car. He's driving <sighs> real slow and safe. Like a grandma. Thanks for checking in. We'll buzz you when we hit the motel. Lila, you ready? Sounds good. And Sean, Jen wants you to call her <laughs> when you have time. Oh, ho, ho. sounds like someone is still thinking about you. Yeah, I know. Seriously, though. This must be like I'm an alternate really real doing. reality. I miss you. I miss home, though. 
I miss home. Well, sometimes I just miss our home, our family. Now I feel like I'm going in reverse. So this is an alternate reality. The same thing. It's never easy to leave your home. Or family. If that never happened, I have like the total cop. faith in you, Sean. You're a Diaz. You were born to roam and find your way home. God, I love you, Dad. Wish I would have told you more. You didn't have to tell me. You showed me. God damn it, I'm crying. Oh. By the way, oh. hey, wake up. Huh? Huh? What? Yeah, oh, what the fuck are you doing on our property? Oh shit. Do you mind? I was talking Man, like dead to father. Come on out, boy. Who the fuck is that? A fucking kid. Get out. Okay, I'm leaving. Look, I'm leaving, okay? Uh, no you ain't. Step out or I'll call the cops. You okay. don't want that, boy. I don't. Alright. Wait, no, I'll just step out. That's Okay, okay. I'm coming. Hold on. Good. Now we can see you. So tell us what the fuck you're doing on our land. I got... I needed some rest. I... Drove for so long, I... I had to pull over to get some rest, you know? I swear. I had no idea this was your property. There's a fucking sign. Didn't you see it? I was too exhausted. I guess I missed it. He's just a kid and he's hurt. Look. Yeah? What happened to your eye? An accident. I got into an accident. Oh, yeah? Uh huh. Move it. Huh. Jesus, what are these people's problem? Please, I just want to go. Oh, -ho. what's this? Drugs? Yeah, for my eye. Oh yeah, did you steal them? Like this car? Oh shit. Take his backpack. Dude, come on. Wait, I didn't know that was timed. Get it, let's see what he's holding. Oh, because the owner of the car's name was in it. So? Nothing good. Any money? Fucking toys, man. You still play with toys? Seriously? It belongs to my brother! Leave it alone! Do nothing. Because you're not in a condition to fight, in my opinion. Oh. Your brother? Where is he now? Well, I'm going to meet him. In a stolen car? More lies. <sighs> okay, Chad. We fucked with him. Hey. Let him go. He's got Hold nothing. Hold on a sec, Mike. You speak Spanish, Pedro? Huh? What? 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 Hablas Espanol. Chad. So, Professor, how do you say... I'm a dirty thief. Don't do this. Don't do this. Oh, you don't want to share your language? <laughs> okay. Maybe you know this one. Uh... I'm a dirty thief with one eye. <laughs> Soy un ladrón y chinga tu madre. Uh, wait, madre? Uh... What did you really say, asshole? Huh? All I want to do is learn Espanol. <laughs> Might be our official language someday, right? See, si, senor? So, one more lesson. How do you say, this is not my country? Nope. I want to punch him now. Fuck off. This is my country. Hoo-hoo-wee! <laughs> Did you hear that? Look, Chad. It's gonna rain. Let's go before we get soaked. No, we took the country back. Hold on. 
This little thief is fucking with me. You're really pissing me off, you know that? But I'm willing to give you one last chance to make things right. Sing something. What? Just pass the audition and you're free. We'll be very upset if you refuse. I'm not a fucking dog. I don't bark on command. No. Really? Okay. I warned you, boy. Stop! Stop it, Chad! Uh, what the fuck, man? Uh, uh, I'd rather do that. Uh, I'd rather get beaten to a pulp than bark on fucking command. Uh, uh, Holy cow! What are you doing? Listen, you little beaner. Get your shit and go. Now! I wish the other guy seems nice. Look, just drive straight and you'll hit the highway. Forget this happened, man, okay? So the... the Wolf Brothers were split apart. The oldest wolf was badly hurt, but nothing could stop the wolf from following his brother's tracks. the end I think. Oh shit a snake. <sighs> I'm coming for you Daniel. Don't give up on me. Oh fuck I have to control him. Can I go in the middle of the road? Okay. Still a few hours away from Haven Point. Almost there. I guess it doesn't really matter anymore. I if there's any Not a lot of cars there. around here. But I better stick that? to the side. Like looks like a pirate flag over there. Interesting. Shit, I need a break. Might be some shade at the next billboard. So great. Stop. Can't run for miles in this heat. Alright, I was sprinting, so I guess I'll stop sprinting. I still have the, uh, I still have the collectible little bear on my back. I didn't steal that, that one was given to me. <gasps> Ooh, I see an animal. Hey, can I go see the animal? Yes. Shade. Aww. You're really gonna make me go to the shade? 
but I want to go see the animal. Wait, I, w I gotta try. I have to try and see the animal. Daniel better be okay. Feels like I haven't seen him in years. I hope we can work out everything that's happened. Well, yeah, you can't wait to get out on your own. Now you are. And it sucks. Hello, fellow traveler. Ooh, I can take it? Yes. Can you might take this? Uh, I'm just gonna keep going. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This place is freaking me out. Okay. Probably what that animal was eating. We'll step on the next billboard. Whoa! Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Better stick to the road. Okay, that's fair. <sighs> Can't run forever, that's right. Oh, shit, there's a truck coming. Are you a good guy? Whoa. Is he honking at me? He's topping. Uh, okay, uh, be cool. Just uh, see what he wants. Dude, you're out here in the middle of the fucking desert. There's a good chance he just wanna give you a ride. Truckers can't be cops. Right? Nah. He's clearly carrying I mean that'd be a good undercover thing, you know, just like pack some logs in. Hey! Need a lift? It's too damn hot to be walking. I agree. I definitely would agree. Uh, no, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him. Yeah. Thanks. Hold up. Oh, it's heading towards Haven's Point. It's close I get. Great. I'll just say, like, I'm heading to Haven's Point, you know, the closest I can get to it would be great. He's a trucker. He's got a job to do. You know? Don't wanna, don't wanna ask too much of him. There was a billboard there that said Jesus will save you. Hmm. Coincidence? I think not! Choco crisps. Damn, you are all sweaty, Daniel. Jeez. What the hell happened to you? Got beat I up. ran into a couple of assholes who beat me up for no reason. Uh, I see. Happens a lot around here. We're making great hey, track. You there? Everything all right? Yeah, what's up? GPS tells me you parked in the middle of nowhere. Just wanted to know what happened. I, uh... I had to make a shit stop. Over. <laughs> too much information, but 10-4. <laughs> you mean number two. <laughs> you owe me a beer for that. Over <laughs> now. Don't freak out. I... I wouldn't have picked you up if I cared about that hitchhiking law. Okay. Cool. So, you hungry or what? You look hungry. Hell yeah. <sighs> I am. Thank you. As you heard, my name's Anton. Mm. It is good, huh? My wife packs the best sandwiches. <laughs> Messy. Best sandwich ever. No, I haven't had breakfast yet, please. Don't do this to me. Seriously. Thanks, sir. Anton. 
Anton. Right. Antonio. <laughs> You guys, you guys remember Princess and the Frog, like the newer animation? It was like, I am Prince Nubbin, and then he gets mm. smacked in the fucking head with a book. Haven Point. Oh, that, you that. heard of it? Oh yeah. Straight ahead, about an hour. On the road it'd be about an hour? Shit. So where is he heading then? This is one thing I would hate about hitchhiking, just awkward Take silence. a nap if you want. Uh, you don't have to stay awake to be nice. Hey, don't worry, kid. I'm not a fucking weirdo. <laughs> I've actually hitchhiked with just a weirdo a before. His name was trucker. Brody. And he, he, was, he was the best Brody. Well, actually, Brody, best Brody is my Brody. But that Brody moved away. He also told me I could sleep, but he was fine. Daniel stole something from him, though, but it's okay. He's not with us. He's just my brother. That's the exact same billboard. Hmm. What would happen if I just kept walking? Ah, a church. That's always a good sign. Last stop, Haven Point. Thank you so much. So this is Haven Point. Just okay. be careful out here. These people are kind of weird. Really? Okay. Ten four, good buddy. That means okay. Or understood. That was weird. When we got on the truck, there was a sign of Jesus Christ. And when we get off the truck, we're here at a church. And look, those are the exact same boards. There's a gamble one and like a Jesus one. Hmm. It's Easter time. Noted. Wow. Forgot about Easter. I completely lost track of time. Oh, I don't know why it fucking... Hello? Hope those people are caring Christians. Like our grandparents. Hello? <laughs> you okay now? Is it gone? I... I think. Good. Scoot back inside now. Okay, Dad. Uh, hello there. Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't worry. You here for the service? I'm looking for uh, someone. Not really. Looking for someone. Don't be shy. Everybody's welcome here. No matter who you are or where you're from. Well, that's nice. In his eyes. We are all equal. Plus, we have a pretty nice spread after the service. Stay as long as you want. Okay. Um, thanks. <laughs> Don't That's thank great. me. I'm just a vessel for our reverend. Thank her. <laughs> Looks like you're here to see our new miracle, right? What miracle? And is the miracle by any chance a ten-year-old boy? And I'm not saying that because because you you work for the church. That's that's not a that's not a, a a Catholic pedophile thing. I know that. Okay, it's been on sixty seconds. It is a fact that there. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna click that. Uh, what miracle? Huh. You haven't heard of him? Then I won't spoil it for you. He'll be here any minute now. Just come inside and see for yourself. Praise the Lord. I mean, I thought he was that just gonna poor like, little girl. hold the door open for me. Her cough sounds real bad. I hope these are the people that... Her father that... was nice. 
are just like so into God that they think maybe people won't judge me here. I hope they're not like the type of people are so into God that they don't give their children medicine. They're just like God will save them. <sighs> yeah, very humble. Oh, feel that cold air. Oh, thank God for AC. Yeah, it better be fucking cold. Claire had pretty much the same ones. <laughs> Cute. I remember every time I went to church, it was way too cold. A picnic with Daniel? What's going on? Wait, what? Ah, oh, shit, wait. Oh, no. Come join Reverend Fisher and our new disciple, Daniel, for a private picnic. I'm just going to hope that Jacob or Jake didn't tell anything. I wonder how donations can pay for all of this. Uh, and they don't think... And nice like, picture. I hope Jake didn't, like, tell... I wonder if she's in charge of this community. Daniel's powers, and now they're just... wonder if they'll let me in. Treating him like a god. Do you think we're any smarter? Wait. No way. Shit. Angel Daniel? Oh, shit. Yep, that's bad. The real creator. Why? Temptation. Not salvation. It can seduce you. And destroy your faith. I know you understand. That's why the Lord brought you all to Haven Point. Oh, shit. I will draw too much attention. Better try upstairs. We hear that word a lot, but faith is not just a word, my brothers and sisters. Oh no. What is faith? Remember Luke 18, 27. What is impossible for man is possible for God. Amen. With that righteous faith comes the salvation of your souls. Can you cross that invisible bridge to salvation? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes Do you want your soul to be saved, brothers and sisters? Yes. Oh, yes. oh, yes. You are not like all these sinners out there. So I never asked the Lord for a sign. Then, he gave me one. He spoke to me and told me that I was doing right. And to reward our great faith, the Lord sent me the ultimate gift. Is it my brother An by angel, any chance? A child graced with the power of God. The miracle we have all been praying for. A 10 year old boy. Waiting for. Can I get a hallelujah? Do you have faith? In his power. This is really funny when you think about the pedophiles Do in the Catholic you have Church. Faith now. In me. Then please. Except this ten year old boy. Our newest member and our latest miracle. The angel Daniel. As he just calmly walks through a door. Oh god. He has a bowl cut haircut. Here is Daniel, oh, be the Daniel. prophet who was thrown to the lions by false prophets. Oh no! But God saved Daniel so he could do his work. He thinks it's the yes. it's the actual Daniel, Daniel from the Bible. Was to me to deliver us, Praise to guide us from the wilderness Praise to our destiny. Now, Daniel, 
will reveal the true power of the Lord. happen like like just so we're all clear if a person came and had this power and they did this in a church this would happen I see more and more new faces, but this is only the beginning. You must spread the word. Bear witness to this miracle. Thank you so much for coming. And God bless all of you. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. I uh, just to be clear, I'm not making fun of Christianity. I just being like, as our reverend said, we do appreciate your. I'm just acknowledging what the game put. This helps us keep our church and to spread the word of God. Oh yeah, there's only a few tickets left for our picnic raffle next Sunday. Don't miss the child and another miracle. Any question? Please talk to me outside. Bless you for coming today. <laughs> You ever notice when you stare at your monitor too long, you like start noticing all the little dust specks that you've never seen there before? I'm sorry, I know it's like a really emotional scene and everything, but I'm just like, I'm looking at all like the dust specks on my monitor and it's literally breaking the immersion for me. Hi. Oh, uh, hi. I saw you out in that parking lot earlier. <laughs> yep. That was me. I like to be here, too. We can see the whole room, and it's where our reverend mother teaches us classes. Whoa. You okay? Need some water? Uh, and no, sorry. I'm just kind of sick. Oh, that sucks. Uh, that's too bad. I really hope they're not the church people that believe in alternative medicine. Like, like God will save them instead of giving them actual hey. medicine. What happened to your eye? Well, that's a long story. That's okay. My name is Sarah Lee. What's yours? Ah. Hi, Sarah Lee. Was Jacob's sister. Did you get that letter from Jacob back when he was in California? Yes. <coughs> How did you know he was in California? I was with him. Uh, that's how we met. You are Daniel's brother? Really? He's always talking about you. Hey, uh, not too loud. Uh, yes, I'm Daniel's brother, but I need some help. The Reverend Mother says we always have to help our neighbor. What do you need? Um, take me to so, Daniel. So, can you take me to Daniel? Oh, yes. He's gonna be so happy when he sees you. He missed you so much for his birthday. It will be like a late surprise. Well, I'm glad to know he doesn't hate me. I don't know how you put it together I was Daniel's brother, though. All I said was that I was in California with your brother. Daniel, you're the oh, living shit. proof. Oh, shit. They got a lot of donations. And mine. I know you understand. 
I guess, I mean, Sean? Oh, my. Sean! You came back! I knew it! You've grown up, and I know. Do I look older? What? What happened to your eye? Don't worry. It's okay. Did that happen at the farm? Because of me? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm glad to know he doesn't hate me. That's not how I thought at all this interaction was going to go. It's the past. It's over, Daniel. We just got to walk on. Does it hurt? No. <laughs> not as much as your haircut. Just yeah, have... I hate your haircut. I hate bull cuts so much. <laughs> I kind of like it. Sean, I didn't want to leave you there. That's saying a lot. Nothing I could Because do. I recently got a haircut, but it keeps turning I into a bullshit. I was so cut. scared. I just to jail I back. even thought you were dead. And... It's okay. We're together now. Yes. So, are you going to stay with us now? Huh? I... We still need to go to Puerto Lobos. But... We don't need to. We have a new home now. Look. One step at a time, Daniel. Give Sean a chance to process this. I'm sure this is all so overwhelming. By the way, my name is Elizabeth Fisher. We all prayed for your safe return. Sean, you must be a believer now in our Lord, too. Kind of. <laughs> I don't want to offend him. Mm, kind of. Daniel told me you had faith. That's how you got here. But first, I need Sarah Lee and Daniel to grab the medicine kit. We have to take care of our new guest. This is a place of healing. Aww. Let's do it later. I want to talk to him now. Daniel? Now. Okay. How dare you talk Let's down go. to your god! Whoa. Hold on. Or Angel, I guess. Well, Sean, it's a pleasure to meet you. This is a real blessing today. You were away from Daniel for quite a while. I was in a coma. Of course. <laughs> I wasn't judging you. So what is your plan, Sean? This is a blessed family. And I'm it would worried. Be good for Daniel to have you by his side. I'm... You should know mm. that the Lord has big plans for him. Yeah, I'm worried if I, I if I say I'm gonna take Daniel, they're gonna be like, oh, no, 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 Mexican God, God are you or you? God, of course. I'm his family. I'm his family. Two young boys are not a family. Mark three twenty five. If a house is divided against itself. That house cannot stand. That's Abraham Daniel Lincoln. sounds more like a prisoner than a guest. It saddens me that you see things that way. After everything I've done for him. I know why you're scared, Sean. That's because your heart's full of sins. I know about that poor man you beat down back in Washington, Sean. That's a lie. This is a terrible sin. And until you make penance for it, I can't accept you here. What? Are you serious? I'm sorry, my son. I'm not your son. And Daniel isn't gonna be your golden cow. Daniel, come on! Why don't we ask him what he wants to do? Do not touch me! What the fuck? What did you do? Nothing. Enough. You spilled blood in the Lord's home. Sean! What happened? Your brother came in here, impure and acting like a criminal. But he can be saved, Daniel. She's right! You showed up, and look what happens. Like all the time. I will pray for you. And she's trying to manipulate you. Let me lead you to the one true light that never goes out. I want to be your friend. You're crazy! 
Let's get out of here, Daniel. I want to stay. Just go. There's your answer, Sean. We're together again. So we can go, right? Come on. Get off me, dude. What? Daniel! <coughs> let me go, <coughs> asshole! <coughs> Daniel! They're not your family! Stop it. You just need to have faith. We'll be waiting. Daniel! It's okay, Sean. Sean. Now I gotta deal with there fucking Christian. Satisfied. Now don't you ever come back. Get up. Come on, kid. Don't make me do this. You're not gonna win. What's the point of that option? Daniel! Daniel! You're pissing me off. This is private property. I have a legal right to stop any intruders like you. No, you're just being a fucking just asshole. I want my brother. But he doesn't want you. He was brought here, and this is where he's staying. Next time, I will not hesitate to use this. Get out of here. Daniel, hey! Daniel. Sean? Oh, Daniel. shit. You won't get him back like this. Let's oh, go. shit. It's his mom. I really hate that her name is still Karen. Like, what were you thinking, game developers? Jacob. He said you were missing. And that Daniel needed help. I believed him. <laughs> so you finally decided to check on him. You know, Sean, sooner or later, we're gonna have to talk. Where are we even going? I already have a hotel room. You're gonna need to rest and clean that dressing. Fuck me, dude. I wonder how he showers with the eye. Like, no, he, he has to keep the bandage on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Shit. This is all my fault. Like, he could have avoided a lot of those bruises if I wasn't, like... Like, the way I see it, I didn't want to bark like a dog. And I'm like, why would you give me the option to stand back up? I wasn't going to lay on the fucking ground. Careful. Almost all your butt, but...
Man. Didn't clean the pain away, but Karen seems to be on the move quite often. That felt good. <laughs> nice crossing dialogue lines. Damn. You look bad. Gotta change that dressing soon. Can't we change it now? Wonder how long Karen has been here. Did she see one of Daniel's? So Karen did check it out. Wonder if she saw Daniel in action. Kinda yeah. pretty. She must know Daniel has powers. Wonder if she made it. I know I shouldn't peek, but whatever. I'm gonna question. Glad to know she learned the lesson. Oh shit! <laughs> oh fucking Sean, just burning her. Karen did her own road trip to get here. Word to look back, making the same choice twice, twice. Interesting. Damn. Karen does like to capture the world around her. Tracing close to every mile. Okay, so she's a poet. I'm not gonna read all this. Oh, she's also evaluating. Like, Sherlock Holmes evaluating. Interesting. This country is just way too big. <laughs> Karen was always into low tech. I even think it's the one she had back then. Okay. We've come a long, long way, buddy. Okay, that's mine. This thing is killing my back. I got bruises on my bruises. $17.19. Dad's lighter. ID card. Alright. Lost Dad's picture. Interesting. Ah, uh, Karen, I'll always like you to leave and leave a note. Be right back. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> That's what your mom said. Twelve. Fuck! I fucked up the joke. I don't know how long ago she left. To popped out for supplies. I'll grab some food in case you want to eat. New socks and shorts are in the bathroom. All yours if they fit. Might be a good time to contact Jacob. His number is on the letter he sent. Be right back, Karen. Grand. And I saw that there was a tablet with a note on it. Huh. This isn't her tablet. Struggles with too many... Oh, wait. Struggles with too many open apps, but should be okay with basic browsing. 112708. Hey, technology. She came prepared. Oh god, I really don't want to read all this. Yeah, oh god, I'm just gonna look for anything that mentions Daniel. Faithful brother, strangers, god stuff. You can pause that if you want to read it. Reverend Mother doesn't look too humble. Blah, 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 blah. People are were crying, including me. Brand. Looks like a roach motel. But nobody will find me there. But dusty as fuck. Okay. Nice roadside motel. Cool staff. I 
I really should finish reading this someday. Hmm. Does anyone really finish the Bible? Welcome to Life is Strange 2, such interactive content. Karen said she left me Jacob's number somewhere. Ah, uh, fuck, where was it? Was it on the, um... Curtain? No, it wasn't. It was in the bathroom. Yeah, I was lied to. By myself. All right, well, I'll find it eventually. What? What? Wait, 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 wait. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. There it is. Jeez. It only took Super Mom eight years to give a shit. Okay, so she, that's what your mom said eight years ago. <laughs> there, nailed it. <laughs> okay. Dear Miss Diaz, my name is Jacob and I work with your son, Sean and Daniel, on a farm in California. There were some problems and Sean went missing. I'm with Daniel now in Haven Point, Nevada. He gave me this PO address, so if you get this, I think Daniel might be in danger. He needs help to get out of here. I can tell you why if you can't get out of here. See, look, look, see? There's the 555 again. <laughs> Thank you, Jacob. This place is quite remote. Good. At least nobody will be looking for me here. I just realized that I was fucking supposed to take, actually read that number. You know, the number Jeez. that wouldn't call anyone in real life. It only took Super Mom eight years. 7755. Uh, five, five, uh, fuck. 0118. 775 all right, I'll remember this. The animation can go any faster. Oh, wait, I don't have to type it in. Okay, thank you. Hello? Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way! I've been waiting to hear from you for months. So you, you found my note in your sketchbook? Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brandy Highway. There's a, a, a junction just above Haven Point. There's a, a, a wild mice ranch billboard there. I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. Mission unlocked. Damn. He couldn't really talk. I'm not oh, going this now. is so messed up. Better wait for Karen in here. Alright. Um, I mean, I kind of already checked everything. I'm so drained. Wait for Karen. There you go. Let's just... Re I'm just making sure my recording's going well. Okay. If she comes back. Hey, sorry it took so long. The fucking store was packed. How you feeling? <sighs> Nothing broken? Altar boys don't fight fair? Yeah, I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion, right? That'll do. <laughs> Just like you're really not going to accept the food. God, I'm so fucking hungry. Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. Sean. I do. <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. 
Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. Yeah, that's fair. He is there. That's a cult. Yeah, that's definitely a cult. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? I'm a good provider. Dad, Dad taught, taught me responsibility. He always wanted us to know how to take care of each other. Good. How did you go to Beaver Creek? You know, I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did. And why. If you care. So, ask me anything. Why did you leave? Yep. All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years, but I wasn't happy, and the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. I felt like an empty shell. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again. You still made I it. I took that responsibility. Dad knew? Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. He was heartbroken. He was heartbroken for months after you left. Years. I was too. I was in love with your father. He was the best person I ever met. But just not enough for you. Something was missing from the equation, yeah. I was. What are you doing here? So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Hey, so am I. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Arizona? Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Guess I found something there. New York didn't really do me good, so... Yeah, okay. I think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. And I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, I fooled myself. Thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be, and that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. Hmm. I know. I know you are, Karen. That still doesn't change the way I feel. Of healing. course not. I know I can't change the past. Sean. I don't think you would. I need some air.
Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's yeah, fuck you. <laughs> get it all out in the open. See what happens. What did you do? So... What did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans, which is what most of modern life is about, right? School, job, marriage. Ask my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, I tried, but I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. Sounds immature. You just sound... immature. Like a kid running away from home. You're right. I do. But I think people should know who they are. I just wanted to hear her answer. Not now. fake it for anybody. Did you miss us? So, did you ever actually miss us? Or dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. He could brighten up a rainy day. That was like his superpower. But above all, I missed watching you grow up. See how you saw the world. I missed sharing these moments with you, Sean. Your loss. Well, that's your loss. I don't expect you to believe me. But I mean it. It is her loss. Why not? Yeah, like, why not stay in contact I mean, with us? I get you wanted to leave and stuff. Okay. But why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. I, I mean, wanted yeah, the to contact you guys birthday so Birthday card would have just been like salt in the wound. I almost did. Good thing you did. Good thing you didn't. We definitely needed to move on. Yeah. That was the idea. <sighs> Whatever. You sound so... careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. That's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. I'm gonna ask. Hey, um... Mind if I bum a smoke? Sure. Still got a few left. Hmm. <laughs> nah, Ma. I got my own. Wow. I haven't seen that lighter in ages. Stop. Dad loved that thing. I know. Only thing I have left of his. I know. No, oh, man. Esteban hated when I smoked. What's going on with, like, the smoke there? It's like the smoke just, like, jet it off. Early death. Fuck. Life can be so cynical sometimes. That's what I tell my girlfriend. I'm like, you should I remember stop smoking. he would smoke sometimes. I don't want you to die. Long ago. We didn't fight much. But when we did, 
I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. And I would just look up at the sky and watch the stars or the planes. I do miss that. I used to do the same with my best friend, Lila. Sitting on the porch, just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together, <laughs> shut the hell up, and watch the universe do its own thing. Is that not what we're doing right now? There's also a shoe on the roof. What the fuck? Does anyone else see that? Okay, like right above their heads, there is like a shoe. Julio. Ow, fuck my knee. I hate it. I think this is one of the things I gotta like back, yeah. We should go so. back inside. I gotta change this dressing. Okay, let's go. I just wanna give it a minute. Sean. I know I can't change the past, or what I did, but this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. We gotta, for Daniel, even if he or I don't care about her or what she's done, I care about saving Daniel. I know. It's still hard. But yes, we have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. Has Daniel seen you yet? How? Have you seen Daniel yet? We need to get in touch with this. With his Jacob. powers? He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. Okay. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? Might as well. Yes. Thanks. So, you feel like telling me the story here? When we have time. Gotcha. They do their best not to show it. Like the eye, like at all. What do you mean when you have time? You got you got like a lot of fucking time here. <laughs> Maybe like like after. Is she crying? It looks like she's crying. Here, try this on. An eye patch. I am a pirate. Pirate Sean. How do I look? Great. Thank you, Karen. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel. Let's do it. Ah, fuck.
Ah, the friction hurt on my hands. Oh, fuck, that stings. The meeting point next day. Another Jesus will save you sign. Sure he's gonna show up? He better. He promised. Well, if he doesn't find us, we'll find him. I can't believe how much crap you guys have been through. You have no idea. Makes me want to punch in the face each and every asshole that got in your way. Yeah. Good thing we got to meet amazing people, too. Life on the road is all about that. The sweet encounters. Hope I can see them again someday. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So tell me about Daniel. Flies, What's he like? Bugs, I guess. He's special. I thought that said a little racial. <laughs> he's special. Well, he's definitely special. I want to tell Hope her about so. the powers. He's your brother, right? Heads up. Is that him? Yep. Wait here. Sean! Shit, he what looks happened? completely different. Can you explain? Jake, I'm not mad, but you better explain everything. I didn't know where else to go. Listen, I, I saw Daniel come back to the camp that, that night. Like, he was in shock or something. Then I heard all these sirens, and... I got scared. I just, I packed a few things, I, I took a blanket from your tent, and we, we left together. I also kept the cash you made on the farm. Uh, it's... in my car. You did right. You did right, Jake. Thank you. You have no idea what he looked like when I found he didn't him that steal night. it, because, like, he, he has it in the car. He's in shape, with a gunshot wound, and all by himself. I, I... I couldn't just leave him there. What about the others? What about the others? Hannah... Penny, what happened to them? They they ran over to Merrill's place when they found out Finn and Cass were gone. That was the last time I saw them. Then on our way out here, Daniel told me more about what happened that night. How scared he was. The blast. Daniel feels he's got to redeem himself for what he did. I need to get to him, Jacob. He's not guilty of anything. I should have protected him better. I'm telling you to be careful with the Reverend Mother. She's waited her whole life for somebody like Daniel. The Reverend knows how to manipulate people. She's good at this. I'll he no to that. wants to stay with her. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. I don't know if you're yeah, not afraid of that Lisbeth of yours. I'm getting Daniel out of here. Uh, come on. There's no way they're gonna let you take him away. Well, too bad. We're not gonna ask for their permission. You must be Jacob. I'm Karen. Hi. Okay. I don't know if you want to do this, but I, I have an idea. I think school must be over by now, but Lisbeth will stay at the church with Daniel for his special classes. That'll give us time to sneak into the compound before we get to them. I'll be on the lookout. Keep watch in case it all goes to shit. Sean, stay on the walkie. Sounds like a plan. One more thing. I, uh, we have to get my sister too. Sarah Lee. <laughs> really, Jacob? Come on, man. She's with your parents. I know. Please, listen, Sean. She's not safe here. She's sick. They believe in everything Lisbeth says. And she says she'll cure Sarah with prayers. I know you understand. 
right? Damn, Jake. We need his help too, Sean. Okay, I knew it. Jake. I fucking knew it. I'm saving that little girl. I'm listening. Lisbeth knows what's wrong with Sarah Lee. We just, we need to find her medical record. I think it's in her home office. Then I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Okay? Nice town. Poor old people. Sure. I'm gonna trust you on this, Jacob. All good for you, Karen. What if Daniel won't go with you? He will. No, he won't. I know him. No, you don't. That's what I was thinking, too. Like, he's not gonna go with you. I don't know what you're gonna do. What the fuck are those birds? Like, anyone else seeing at the top left? Like, a group of bugs? Or, like, birds or some shit? I don't know. Fucking... The wind particles are weird in this game. Karen? I'm in place. I can see the whole camp. Let me know if you need anything. Be careful, Sean. Got it. Thanks. We gotta be careful now. If anything happens, let me do the talking, okay? Yeah, of course. Oh shit, I'm Let's taking control again. Okay, okay, um, okay. This house got it. is right behind the church, so in and out. Okay. And you sure Lizbeth will have those files on your sister? Watch out, Sean. There are people right outside. Oh, shit. Where? How many? Just three. A man with his kid on one side, and a woman alone on the other. Got it. And a kid. Thanks. Woman on the other. People aren't supposed to come and go around the church once the service is over. Better to avoid them if we can. Got it. And there's a woman over there. So, shouldn't we head into the church? Or, nope, okay. I'll call Karen with your walkie-talkie by holding Q so, and click. did you grow up out of here? No. In another community. Well, like I'm pressing it, but I guess it doesn't do anything. When Elizabeth came out here to start Haven Point, my folks followed her and brought me along. Listen, I'm following you, and you're mm. heading right towards that lady that we're supposed to, Must supposed have been to avoid. Kinda. Eight-year-olds don't want to go to church all day. Oh. Come on. Hello, young Hackerman. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, hi. We're just... You know you're not supposed to wander around the church once the service is over, right? Right, I, I, I'm sorry, but we, we were just... Uh... Oh, uh, I'm sorry. This is my first time at your church, so... He was just showing me around. It's always a pleasure to welcome new members. How come I didn't see you at the surface, though? I know, I know. We, we were late, so we just, uh, watched from upstairs. Come on, you don't have to lie. Everybody knows you hate attending services. Uh, well... Uh... Listen, don't hang around here for too long, okay? I'll talk with your father later. Sure. See you. All right, then. Where to now? Okay, why did it give me the button to call her if this is completely pointless? I can't. I, I've. Jeez, what's up with her? She doesn't seem to like you very much. That's because I left the church. She's not the only one that's pissed at me. Sorry to hear that. I don't know. I'm pressing the buttons. Nothing's happening. Where are we going here? In here? Okay, cool. Okay. I just... I hope they're not onto us. Let's haul ass. Where are the files? Right there, in her office. Ugh. Of course it's locked. Her open door speech is just another lie. Gotta find a way in. Fuck. Think there's a key somewhere? Maybe she's 
too cautious not to have a spare set around. <sighs> Whoa. Are you okay, Jake? Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it's just so full of memories and stuff. Whoa. This place is worse than army camp. I'm just trying to find the key, because if I don't start looking for it immediately, then Coaxing it lesson one. becomes really Get boring Daniel for you guys. Favorite cereal. The moat and the bean. Elizabeth Fisher. Antibiotics for a year infection. Wait, so she gets a prescription, but she won't give it to its fucking sister? Very biased people. Um, that's a fire extinguisher. Don't need to look at that. I know what a fire extinguisher looks like. Did she teach Daniel how to play this? All right. She sure likes to gaze at her own success. Well, I mean, I, I knew I would gaze at their own success. Whoa. They kicked her out of church? Now they're thirsty. Like I said, you can pause this if you want to read it. Okay, so she, she got kicked out of church. Understood. Don't see anything of interest. She's a smoker, noted. What a great fucking family portrait. Daniel did not draw that. Oh, shit. Looks like the Reverend Mother got this letter before Jake. Thank you so much for talking about Daniel. I'm to him point in. Oh, shit. So Karen sent a note back, but it didn't, he didn't get it. Ah, keys. Got it. You used to come okay. to immediately Good. this time. Let's try it. Just in case, though, I want to search everything. Okay. What the? She's completely obsessed with his power. Daniel tired after using gift. Nothing gives him energy after new diet. He acts on his own. Scripture won't impale him. Impel him. Impale. Yes, the scripture will impale you. More prayer, more study. Daniel pout each day after lesson. Spare the rod and spoil the child. Not yet must show grace. Trust in the Lord. I did cry today watching the miracles. The child must be a vessel with what he delivers onto us and when. Interesting. Oh wait. Oh, okay, I can't hey. call her. I well, swear. Why, why did I why did I click that? That looks stern. Okay, I'm gonna do that again. Wait, no, wait, no, please, I'm so sorry, I interrupted your call. Oh, damn it. Uh, Nothing here. D I didn't need to see that. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna go open the door now. Must oh. be a way to break it. No, you can just try key. Yes, that's the one. For once, that actually oh, worked. Perfect. Whoa. Is this her personal archive or something? Yeah. She keeps track of everything in here. Stuff about my sister must be in this one. Okay, I've got something. Must be what you're looking for. Damn. She has pneumonia? Fuck. And for what I get, Lisbeth knows damn well she needs medical treatment. That's criminal. She's insane. Look, she has a file on you, too. <laughs> you can take a peek and see how she really treats her flock. Man, what's all this? Were you, like, sick? Conversion therapy? Did they... Wanted to cure you from being gay. Pretty much. I always showed more interest in boys than girls. Oh, shit. They thought I was a freak. A sinner. Ran away. 
Is that why you... ran away? Yep. <laughs> Took me five years to understand what was up. I was too scared. Confused. I really did believe I was a sinner, so I thought I had to atone for my sins. As a child, too. Okay, so like, imagine this, you can. A child is gay, and he's in a Christian household, so he doesn't really comprehend that being gay is bad, but then they tell him that, no, you're a sinner if you do that. So he thinks there's something wrong with him, like a disease. So he thinks that he has to go and fix himself. God. And, uh, how did that go? Not good. I just prayed all the time and stopped hanging out with boys, girls, everybody. I got depressed, paranoid. Yeah. Damn, Jake. After a few years, I was in a really bad place. I, I tried to hurt myself. Elizabeth was very upset. We had a long chat. She told me I should leave. Go see the world and figure things out. I, I don't really get her, Sean. But Elizabeth does believe in all of this stuff. I had no clue about your life here. I'm... I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry I brought Daniel here. I was just so blown away when I saw what he could do. It was like a real miracle. I thought I'd, I'd found my faith again. Instead, I, I just heard him. And let's make this right. Then let's make things right. We just have to get Daniel out of here. I hope so. And I'll get my sister to a hospital. Have her treated. I hope they'll help her. Keep, my money. Keep our money. For your sister. She needs it. Oh, I, I can't do that, Sean. That, that, that's a lot of... We're okay. It will cover her medical bills. Wow. Thank you, Sean. Sean, are you there? <sighs> What's up? You got company. That thug who works for Elizabeth. A woman just spoke with him. Now he's coming your way. This guy is dangerous, Sean. Trust me. Hey, I have a good plan to get him out of your way. He'll give you more time. Just give me the word. No, it might be dangerous. She might try to come in and he'll, she might get shot. No, uh, it might be too dangerous. Uh, we'll figure it out. Okay, but be extra careful, please. Sean, we gotta I'm not hide. letting her die. Now. Um... Can't we just, like, go out the window? Hurry up! Fucking locked window? Really? Come on, Sean, we need to hide. What? What do you- what do you have? Why do you have a locked door inside a locked door? Okay, hide if, in the- If he finds us here, we're screwed. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, okay, hide in the closet. <laughs> and you thought you were gonna be in the closet. No, back. No, you gotta hide. What the fuck? Wait, why is it? Okay, whatever, 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 hide. Wait, no, wait, there's a giant cupboard what in are you the middle doing of here, the way. Punk? Huh? Stop! Let him go, Nicholas! There's just a door! Trespassing too, you little fag! You were always trouble. Oh, you're gonna I'll die. I'll deal with you later. Now come with me, shithead. Oh, Lord. Let oh, your shit. power speak through this young vessel. Speak to me. <clears throat> Reverend! Sean, what's going on? <clears throat> Reverend, he was going through your stuff in your office. Jacob let him in, but I took care of that, Judas. Oh, Sean. 
Little lost lamb. How could you desecrate holy lamb? Sean! You okay? Huh? Yeah. Don't worry. Come with me, Daniel. We're leaving. I'm sorry, Sean. I can't. She's full of shit, dude. And she's using you. Daniel has made his choice, Sean. But I'm offering you to join us again. Put your faith in me, and you'll be family. Never. So that's your final decision. May the Lord have mercy on your lost soul. It's time for you to leave our sanctuary, right? That guy has a gun. No. I'm not, not okay with this. brother. Didn't you hear the Reverend? Nicholas, Sean is just confused. We forgive the sinners. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. She's my family now. Daniel, listen. She's not your family. Sean, who is she? Our mother. She came here for you. Oh, praise the Lord. Another miracle at our church. Wonderful. Uh, it's all right, Daniel. Go see her. I mean, she's right there. Don't be afraid. You bitch. I, uh, I don't know her. Of course. I know. This is Bro, hard fix your for character you, model there. Son. Stop calling him that. You're just manipulating him, you sicko. That's in the eye of the beholder. But since you are his mother, let me ask you. How could you let your child wander alone in the wilderness? Where were you when Daniel was lost? Where? Listen, Daniel. I came here as soon as I found out you were here on your own. I'm not on my own. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward I hate from Christians. Him. You were blessed with a divine gift. And you cast him out into the world. Who the hell are you? You might have been his mother once, but when you abandoned him, you also gave up your rights. Isn't your God all about forgiveness? You have no idea what the Bible says. How can you pretend to care about these two children? You left them and your husband to seek out your base desires. Daniel, honey, she's trying to trick you. Please think by yourself. You're smarter than this. Daniel, she's responsible for what happened to your father. You don't know anything. It was an accident. That's what this world is about. Accidents, injustice, pain. I'm just so sorry, Daniel. I know. I know how much I hurt you and your brother by leaving. I know that's not enough, but... I hope we can talk about this together. That's what I've been trying to tell your brother. And I'm so glad he listened. You gotta trust us. She's using you for her selfish desires. Daniel, this time the choice is yours. I thought it was always his. Are you going to believe her or me? I... Uh, I... That's right. You can't tempt Daniel from this garden. He'll stay with us, his true family. And we'll never leave him. Go to hell. Come on, Daniel. No! Stop! What? Shit, his mom never saw that. Okay, what now? Don't you understand? This is over, Sean. You have to talk to him. You can convince him, Sean. I won't leave you, Daniel. Not here. Don't be so stubborn. God, Sean, I hate his haircut. Your brother chose his path. Your friend, Sarah Lee, she's very sick. And Lisbeth won't take her to a doctor. What? She wouldn't this do that. This is pointless. Daniel knows who to trust. Not a real 
Christian. Don't Wait. listen to her religious bullshit. You need to have faith in yourself, not in her. But you said I'm already picking the wrong thing. Existed. Why are you lying? You are right. Shit. He's wicked, unfaithful. This is no place. For... She was she kicked. She was kicked out of her previous church. Yeah, they knew she was crazy, so she left and founded Haven Point. Why would they do that? Did she do something wrong? Liar! I left on my own because they were all blind. Don't believe his lies, Daniel. What would Dad say? What do you think Dad would say if he saw us right now? He wanted us to stick together. I don't know. I want you to stay, but I'm not ready, Sean. See what you have done. Hey, Inano. Back off. No one is going to keep me away from you. I said stop. <sighs> I came all this way for you, and nobody will stop me. I'll even cross hell or whatever if I need Ugh. Sean! He must learn. I'm not Listen, letting you take him. I did my best job to be a good brother. And I know I probably failed. I don't know, I definitely Took failed. Took you for granted. I put you in danger. And I'm sorry. Sean. Don't listen to him. He, he left you just like that harlot did. Shut him up. He can hit me as much as he wants. I won't give up on you. Don't uh, hit him. Uh, Don't let them do that, Daniel. It's a bit laggy. But I'm like, I'm on me here. I hope I pick the right options here. If I could go back in time, I would. We'd be in our living room in Seattle. That would get us pizza and snacks, then pick the movie, because we would always fight about it. And he always picked your movie. But I can't do that. All I can do now is fight. Quiet! What are you waiting for? We're the best team in Anu. Stop so it! we have to keep going no. forward. What are You're you gonna doing? You're gonna kill him! Please! He's my brother! You can burn down our church, but not our faith. Daniel knows you're telling the truth. Don't give up. Never. Not giving up. Mm -mm. I let him down in all Nothing. three episodes. Not doing Nothing it again. It's gonna stop me, Daniel. We're brothers. Daniel. Dad always said our blood link was the most important thing. You know. Uh, please. Uh, stop. Uh, Leave him alone. Daniel. Listen to him! Come on. Come on. I've never tapped so hard in my stop. life. No matter what she does, I'll come right back. Again. And again. <laughs> I love you, Daniel. I do too. Shut him up! Now! Don't move! Just stop! If you want to kill me, then do it! I'm not afraid! Do it! Shoot! Don't! Go ahead! What the fuck is wrong with you people? In the face and live with it. Now! Shit. Here we go again. <sighs> Oh, thank God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was so confused. Thought she was someone else. I'm sorry. Wait, get the gun. No, wait, you gotta get the gun. Sean, we need to get out of here. Now. 
she's crazy, she'll pick up the gun, she'll kill us. Please, get the gun. Okay, we got the gun. Where did she go now? Oh no. No. You started this fire. You will all burn in this hell. Move. Let us go. Move it. Am I gonna have to shoot her? leave this place. Not with me alive. Threaten. Because I don't want Daniel to, like, actually kill her. I said move! Or I will hurt you. Sean, foolish child. Wait, no, you I can't kill her. You can't threaten me with death. I can't kill her, I though. I embrace it. I know what awaits me. Alright, I have to ask Daniel. Just... Don't kill her. Open the door, and then. Daniel... Still repent. I don't believe you anymore. No, why did you leave the gun? Ooh, I feel like it's gonna come back and bite me in the butt. I think I handled that the right way though. Okay, I think there's supposed to be music here, but I got rid of copyright music because I don't fucking know why. There's I should have just left the music on. I don't get monetized anyway. At least we get to enjoy this intense scene. It's very, very quiet. There is no noise in this scene. Because cool guys don't look at explosions. And oh my god, we are gonna fix your fucking hair. Because I hate it so much. <laughs> Happy fucking Easter. Okay, those two got out. Did one of them have grabbed the gun though? Okay, we got the girl out, too. That's good. And the church is gone! Alright, I feel like I handled that entire thing very well. There's still another episode after this. So I, I wonder what they're gonna do. Aw, oh, Daniel. I think the second decision I ever made in this game was who to give, like, the last Choco Crisp bar to. And I think I, I accidentally chose myself. I wasn't going to choose either the dad or Daniel, so I just said you're both guilty. And, like, now that I look back at it, I would have gave it to Daniel. To be continued. I wouldn't give it to the dad because, you know... He died, and it could be like a last little thing for him, but I'd rather have just given it to Daniel. God damn. Okay, so we handled this episode really, really well. We, we let um, Jacob keep the money, so that's definitely going to pay for the hospital bills. I, this is just that was just a really well episode. I feel like if I chose like the wrong word dialogue, Daniel would not have gone with us. I wasn't sure if Daniel would kill her with his powers, so I wanted to threaten her because it didn't say shoot her, so I just threatened her. And I'm like, no, nah, I can't 
kill her. Because that'll be really hard against the ending I'm going to get trying to convince him I'm innocent in the first place, so... I'm going to speed it up. So... Yeah. Alright, let's see the... let's just see the decisions. Alright, you passed both tests, you passed one of the tests. Yeah, 63% passed one of the tests, because I had no idea how to control it. Uh, the robbery was Finn's idea. Uh, yeah, 75% chose that. I'm not too surprised. You escaped the hospital without hurting anyone. Yay. Uh, wait, what were the other options? You convinced Joey to help you escape. I don't know how I would have done that. You attacked Joey to escape the hospital. You attacked the guard to escape the hospital. Finn wasn't at the hospital. You didn't talk to Finn. You talked to Finn and blamed him for what happened in Humboldt. You talked to Finn and forgave him for what happened. Yeah, I like that any better. You broke Daniel's toy while taking it back from Chad. No, you didn't take try to take the toy back, and it didn't break. I don't know what effect that's going to have. You sang the song in Spanish. You refused to sing and got beat up. Yeah, you were not asked to sing a song. Whatever. You didn't get into Ant... You got into Anton, struck at Haven Point. You gave the money to the church. You didn't give the money to the church. I'm so glad I didn't do that. You cut the converse... Conver blah, 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 blah. You cut the converse... You cut the conversation short with caring. I did not do that. You were hard on caring during the conversation. Overall, you tried to let Karen open up to you. Yep. You smoked a cigarette with Karen. You stayed outside with Karen while she smoked. And you didn't stay You didn't stay outside with Karen. 61%. I'm, okay, I'm with the majority. Except for this one. I'll read the later. You accepted Karen's help to clean up your room. Yeah. You got. I, I figured like that would be like a little nice bonding moment for them. I also like the picture here. I look so beat up in it, but like I like that they're back together. But God, he looks like a demon child. I want that haircut gone. You got Nicholas. Uh, you got Nicholas suspicious when sneaking into Haven Point. I don't know how I would have made Nicholas unaware. You shared your money with Jacob. You didn't give any money to Jacob. You got caught by Nicholas. Yeah, no, I didn't hide from him in time, because there was this, like, this, there was just this fucking door. I don't know why there was just this fucking door in, like, the middle of everything. <laughs> you shot Lisbeth while Daniel wasn't hurting her. You let Daniel unleash his power on Lisbeth while he was hurting her. You and Daniel both spared Lisbeth's life. Okay, so I did it perfectly right. Ooh. You shot Lisbeth while Daniel was hurting her. Do I have friends? What are my friend stats? No choices to compare it with. Okay, good. So, do we get a little teaser? For episode 5? This is it. We made it, Daniel. What do we do now? Make our way across. Oh shit, it's Trump's wall. You ready? Yeah. I think. In the game, it's just all about politics and Trump's wall. I already have the next episode, so I'll have it when it comes out. Um, I have. I think they scheduled the last episode to come out in December. I don't know that for a fact yet. It's it's sometime either December or January. I don't know which one. So with that being said. I end this episode here. I wanted to let you guys know, though, however, that I actually have more content coming. I have no idea when it's going to come out. It could come out months, weeks from now. But I've finally been talking to an editor, and we've been doing some Let's Plays together. Uh, if anything, you guys are going to see some Let's Plays of The Forest coming out, and it's super funny. We've really tried to work on the content. So hopefully when I get all that filled out with, um, you guys will get to see it. Um, I also did some Dead by Daylight, because the way I figured it is, like, Dead by Daylight's a single round, so you don't really have to edit it down, but I don't know, like, would you guys want to see, like, unedited versions of Dead by Daylight, or, like, unedited versions of Hunt Showdown, because the full release of that just came out, um, because, like, right now I just can't edit anything until the editor completes the forest, so once you guys see that, you should be seeing a lot more. Anyway, so let me know if you guys want to see, like, more unedited stuff. Uh, with that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode.
Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Have a nice day.